Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. And I decided to open this video with an active HF radio link with my SCS Pactor modem with my ICOM IC7300 sending and receiving email over HF or shortwave radio. I've covered the HF email in several other videos, but I thought I would open with this to show you how well this does work together, getting all the components. In my previous video, I introduced Chameleon Antenna's Cha Porta Mast, and I had my Starlink antenna on the top of that mast. Well, we have a little bit of a different configuration today. Now I have Chameleon Antenna's new F Loop version 3.0 with the manual tuning knob on the face, and this is the antenna I used to make that connection to send and receive email. I'm just getting into camping with the RV, but I'm also into prepping. And I'm finding that campers and preppers have a lot in common. Probably not similar interests, but they're both looking for lightweight, portable, and capable equipment to take on the road or put in a bug out bag. You're limited in space on a camper, not only inside the camper, but when you get to a park or a place that you're going, you don't get a whole lot of real estate. So you're probably not going to be allowed to put up dipole antennas in too many places. And a ground-mounted antenna solution, which is how I would operate this antenna as a prepper, is probably not ideal because you have neighbors, small kids, pets running around. You don't really want them tripping over your antenna or touching it, twisting the knob or the mast, changing your tuning solution. So I think this is the ideal configuration for HF radio for camping with the mast here, the port of mast, and the antenna atop of it because it keeps it out of reach. Now, if you look at this, that's the tuning knob. So that presents a challenge if you're elevating the antenna on the chop porta mast. Well, Chameleon Antenna has a solution for that as well. If you're like me and your operational requirements require remote tuning, they have an adapter kit here that you can add to their F-Loop product line. It's a coarse and fine tuned motor in this adapter here that goes on the face of the tuner and a control box that's hardwired with a standard low voltage DC power plug and the power for the motor is provided from the controller box via a 9 volt battery. This kit is going to be the subject of my next video how to install it and how to operate with it but I wanted to do the first video showing the F-Loop 3.0 in its standard configuration before I do any modifications. So when I add the remote tuner, the manual knob will be removed, the white adapter will go on the front, and there'll be a new wire. Uh, I've been making some modifications to the camper here. I added a nine pin cannon plug from my Starlink dish, and then an N-type connector, so it can be waterproof for accessing antennas outside of the camper, and I can operate from inside the camper. So I'm probably gonna make one more penetration into the bump out here for the remote cable of the remote tuner. So it's a quick video to show you what I've been up to here at the retreat location and having a blast playing with the F-Loop antenna. It's really working quite well and hopefully the bands will open up a little later tonight and we'll see if I can get to the, the west coast or maybe into Europe. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with another ham radio and camper update. Thanks for watching everybody.